Yeah. So greetings to all our Virtuoso partners and curious partners uh, who have joined us today to learn just why desktop as a service is the route to both increase your revenues and your cloud consumption. So we've got a full event today. We've got partners from across three continents that joined us. So thank you very much to the people in the APAC, uh, who it's uh, obviously a late one for you. So really appreciate that. And um, uh, let's sort of kick off with an introduction. So, so my name is Andy Pugh. I'm part of the Virtuoso Global Technology Alliances Group. Um, we uh, work with uh, alliance partners with technologies that bolster the virtuoso solutions and in turn this allows us to um, have our partners reselling and, and uh, uh, selling on the services that we can offer the third party services. Uh, with me today is David Clouser who's our VP of sales for the Americas and uh, we have Robert Ewanowski who's the VP of business development from LeoStream as well as Corey Datoma, who is the Channel Operations Specialist for LeoStream. We'll be going through uh, a bit about uh, DAS and, and VDI Marketplace. Uh, David will be running through that. We'll look at Virtuoso and LeoStream as a complete solution and why this is uh, beneficial to you as a partner. We'll <coughs> take a look at some use cases and see how real world examples uh, are working and how you can benefit from from these type of um, uh, activities. And we'll look at how to get started with a, uh, a special um, uh, uh, pricing model for you, which will get you going. We'll also look at Q and A's. Uh, where, uh, if you can leave all your questions uh, either to the end or if you, during the course of the event, if you were to type them into the chat box, we'll scrape them and we'll go through them at the end. Without further ado, I'll let me to pass you over to David Clouser. Great. Thanks, Andy. Just one last check. You can hear me okay. Yes? Yep. Everything's good, David. Right. Awesome. Thanks, Rob. So again, welcome, everybody. Uh, we've got a global audience here uh, and a combination of the existing Virtuoso partners who may already be up to speed about the exciting things happening at Virtuoso, but a lot of new partners who are considering partnering. And, and we want to thank you uh, for your time and this opportunity. Um, and, and also, uh, Andy mentioned it, but we encourage you to submit questions throughout. We've got a team of moderators that are, are going to gather those questions and we're going to address them at the end of the session. We're going to make sure to leave some time within this uh, hour session for that. And, and then also, just before we get to Q&A, we've got the CEO of one of our partners here who's actually going to show you CSPs, MSPs, XSPs, ISVs of the real life experience that you can build with Virtuoso and LeoStream and what it actually looks like having your consumers consume this through you. So we're gonna kind of show some use cases throughout and then end with an actual quick example. So we're really excited about that. But for those who may not be aware uh, of Virtuoso, who Virtuoso is, where we at, We've actually been around for more than 20 years. And we made some very strategic acquisitions last year that we feel has really completed our software stack to become the market leader for the alternative cloud in helping partners just like you build out an alternative cloud to compete against the hyperscalers, to better monetize your infrastructure and for MSPs to be able to leverage that and go to market with a new maturity of cloud services. We've got more than 700 partners worldwide, some of them listed here. We've got a global presence to support you, whether you're in Asia Pac, the Americas, uh, or EMEA. Uh, so we're very excited about that uh, with localized sales and, and pre-sales and look forward to connecting you from wherever you are. And also something that's really important before I get to the next slide, here is we remain loyal and committed to the OpenStack community. We are a major contributor, as you can see here, and that will continue in our development maturity uh, with, as you can see, proven set of patents to back that up. Next slide. 
So what do we mean when I talk about our passion to enable the alternative cloud by leveraging Virtuoso's cloud platform and our portfolio and, and our stack? It's all about helping you accelerate your time to market with a production ready, opinionated version, leveraging OpenStack. So you can do what? So you can monetize and productize a mature portfolio of infrastructure as a service, which many of you are probably doing today, platform as a service, but also to have the ultimate agility to be able to adapt and to offer anything as a service. And in particular today, we're of course featuring desktop as a service, but it doesn't just stop there. It's not just about our software stack. It's about making it simple and easy to use with the ultra fast time to market and helping you shift the paradigm from higher costs, lower margin pressures, to be able to sustain 40, 50, 60% profit margins. And at the end of the day, we hope to have the opportunity to be able to provide you a superior alternative cloud platform that can better compete with the hyperscalers and accelerate your business. Next. And when we talk about maturing towards anything as a service, we are passionate about that. And this is actually what our Gelastic acquisition helped accelerate now, as you'll see, called Virtuoso Application Platform. But to be able to expand beyond IS, to backup as a service, DR as a service, database as a service, application as a service, and of course, as you see here, desktop as a service. Next slide. And why, why? if you're not already offering this, I'm sure most of you are getting some type of interest and demand from your customers and your prospects. Because post COVID, the market itself has nearly doubled with 253% growth in the desktop as a service market alone, where organizations with an established digital experience are looking for support and for help. And you can see the market growth here and the opportunity from five to 50% and specifically the growth in year over year spend more than 25% from 2021 to 2022. And uh, clearly a massive percentage of PC users are going to adopt this. Security, more work from home, bring your own device. This is only gonna continue to grow. And what we're so excited about today is to not just give you a modernized solution, but a solution that can command great profit margins. And, and MRR and ARR growth. Next slide. And the next couple slides just talk about the maturity. I'm sure each of you have seen from task workers, still relevant, need to be supported today through the, the knowledge workers. And now today, of course, we've got specialty workers. And some of those specific use cases, Corey's gonna actually speak about. Next slide. And what are these customers investing? Where are they spending their money? We are seeing more than 40% in communication and collaboration technology, continued growth with mobility and services, increased bandwidth and network capacity, and, and looking at desktop as a service and VDI to improve uh, security. Next. So this slide, I wanted to break into two parts. The first part are some of the most common pain points that partners share with Virtuoso. Whether you're a CSP with a mature cloud offering, whether you're looking to offer it uh, as, as a, a new offering, or you're, you're an MSP, are you facing competitive threats from the hyperscalers? How do you keep up with innovation? How are you addressing security? Or are you facing cost optimization pressures? And of course, the flip of that, profit margins. Are your profit margins going up or going down based on where you're at in the business? 
we hear these every day. We've got service providers, especially given the recent economic climate and the global inflation. We have service providers whose enterprise clients are coming to them saying, we must lower costs. Help me find a way to drop 35%, for example. And you just cannot accomplish that with business as usual. So what are, we go to the second part of the slide here, what are the considerations and the action that the most successful MSPs are considering and taking today? How do I modernize and optimize my offering? Am I choosing the right cloud platform or cloud vendors? How can I increase margins in such a tight economic client while managing these cost pressures? Am I or should I develop a vertical or horizontal, horizontal uh, expertise? How do I transform my business? Maybe we've got solution integrators joining us today or traditional resellers. How do I pivot my business to a cloud operating model to create scalable, sustainable, reoccurring revenue? We can help address these and not just address them, but optimize them. If we go to the next slide. I was really excited to share this with you because this is a perfect example of doing just that. We wanted to show you a real life example of a managed service provider who offers three different sizes of desktop as a service. They have a small, medium, and large. And what type of revenue are they creating in a typical 100 user Leo Stream deal? Well, if we use the large example at $68 per user per month, you can see here that I'm generating more than 6,800 of MRR, but it doesn't stop there because that gives them an integrated bundle of Virtuoso IS with the Leo stream built in. But when you leverage the full force and the power of our entire stack, you have upsell and cross-sell opportunities. What are they gonna do for endpoint security? What are they going to do for backups for disaster recovery? So that just by selling Leo Stream and desktop as a service creates an immediate drag on revenue. In this case, maybe another $20 per user per month for a cybersecurity portfolio, which by the way, we bundle perfectly with Acronis. So now we've added another $2,000 a month of monthly reoccurring revenue. And what if we help them with their cloud management and delivery and so on? So in short, we have a very real world example where the partner's actually going to show you and speak to you later on doing this, where 100 users creates more than $9,000 of MRR, more than 110,000 of ARR, at profit margins beyond 40%. 40% is, is a little conservative, but what if you could create $36 of gross profit per month per user just by selling Virtuoso and LeoStream? That's what we want to help you do. And if we click through the next few slides, it's really just a visual representation of the common challenges that we talked about today that many of you are facing and how virtuoso, our technology, our portfolio, our people, our proven methodology and processes help bring it all together to compete with the hyperscalers, to be able to give world-class product stability and support to help you grow your customers with a full cloud maturity Ultimately, with the final slide here, Andy, I know there's some animation here, right? Ultimately, being able to do this a better way. You don't have to compete with the hyperscalers anymore, nor do you have to accept single-digit profit margins just by selling them. And you don't 
have to use enterprise solutions if you're trying to be a proper service provider. You have an entire different set of requirements. We've got hosting providers here. We've got managed providers. We've got cloud service providers. And Virtuoso, I'm, I'm going to turn it over to Corey to, to get in a little bit more detail, but we are so passionate that you have unique requirements that the hyperscalers can't completely meet and the enterprise solutions overlook. And we want to be your partner to help solve that gap. So with that, thank you for that initial opportunity to share that with you. And let's turn it over to Corey to learn a little bit more. Awesome. Corey, you have control as well, hopefully. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, thank you guys so much for passing this over to me. We are very excited to be here and talk a little bit more about the Leo Stream part of the Leo Stream and Virtuo. So desktop as a service solution that we're excited to offer to you guys today. The one of the first things that I want to address is that while we may give examples throughout our presentation of industry specific case studies or other examples, every single industry pretty much in the world is moving to the cloud in one way or another, whether those be public clouds like AWS or private clouds like the Virtuoso and LeoStream cloud solution that we put together. And so as we talk about these different industries, I want you to remember that if you, there's a workflow in an industry that you didn't see here presented today, odds are the Virtuoso and LeoStream DAS solution will be able to help out you and your customers. Bob, did you want to mention something here as well? Hey, Bob, it looks like you might be on mute. Yeah, yeah, I was on mute, of course. Um, so yeah, Corey, to, to that point, yes, the, the solution is across verticals. And um, one of the big ones here that we've had, and Leo Stream's been at this for 20 years, like Virtuoso. So we have a lot of experience across all the different verticals. Um, and so when we were sitting down figuring out how, what, how could we help this audience and what is it that they, what are the verticals they approach? It was hard because it's such a big audience. Um, it's all over the world. I'm sure all of you have different verticals you focus on, but rest assured, this solution has been proven out throughout all of these different verticals. So in our efforts to, to find some of the hot points for these verticals, semiconductors, LeoStream has been supporting for well over 10 years. And if you've seen, you know, we've had a big shortage of semiconductors, but that industry has committed to about $80 billion over the next three years in building out facilities. Um, it's, a, it's a very good space for, um, you know, low, uh, ch chasing low cost solutions. Um, so that's one example, but we're, you know, we're very good in the education space, um, in local state governments, call centers, but those are some of the industries that you can chase with this solution. Okay, Corey, back to you. Perfect. And let's look briefly at some of the typical business challenges facing end user computing. So as we've discussed, workforce mobility is one of the biggest challenges that are gonna be facing your customers. Your, Customers are going to be wanting to find out ways to best support this new workforce that works either from home or sometimes will work from places that are countries away and around the world. And being able to connect all these people in order to ensure that they have the applications needed to uh, continue their, their work is essential to businesses today. And on top of that is securing the intellectual property and control over uh, the company's data. With the Virtuoso and LeoStream solution, we're very capable of doing this and addressing any security issues or concerns. Similarly, with staffing requirements, our staff requirements today are getting far more complex than they were uh, before the pandemic. With oftentimes different requirements for hoteling or zero and thin clients, regardless of what the workflow is, the Virtuoso and LeoStream solution is able to help you. Another one of the business challenges that are coming up in end user computing is the cost of maintaining and upgrading physical desktop hardware. Long gone are the days in which every single employee is going to have a dedicated desktop computer sitting under their desk. It's simply no longer economical. 
to think that uh, we have for the past 50, 60 years been buying desktops for each and every person, and yet they don't even use those desktops for say 10, 16 hours of the day when they're not working and they're at home is a complete waste of money and time. And with a desktop as a service solution, we're able to provide workstations to employees only during the hours in which they're actually using the workstation. Bob, is there anything you want to add to this slide? Yeah, well, I think it's it's clear that, you know, the pandemic um, created a lot of changes in how we, how we all work. Um, but for any um, DAS solution, uh, security is top priority. Um, and so all of these verticals we've been supporting over the last three years during the pandemic, we've learned a lot on really how to harden and secure the product. We, the, the solution has um, a zero trust framework that has best of breeds components that gives you the security that your connections and your environment are secure. Okay, back to you, Corey. Perfect. And now moving on to this next slide. All right. Well, you can see that we've actually had a lot of success and we're very, very excited to announce that the Leo Stream Corporation has actually won a Engineering Science and Technology Emmy from the Emmy Committee. This is great because we've been doing a lot of work with the media and the entertainment space and being recognized by the Emmy Committee for our work in primetime television is really exciting and also something that we can bring to the table as we move forward with the virtual so and Leo stream solution this is uh very exciting something that we hope that you will continue to market as you bring this solution to your customers yeah that's great corey so so again i think we're stressing here that although we have we've had wins in many different verticals this is uh this is a big win for us obviously but what we've done over the years is really build all of that workflow all of that coding on what what works best for customers and what brought it to all verticals uh, and, and that's one of the benefits of of this platform so whether you're a virtuoso um, customer now and you're looking for another line of business uh, that this das solution would be a solid solid choice and if anyone that's not with the virtuoso team this is a great chance for you to get started in a very hot market um, at a very low cost um, price point um, with, with a, an exceptional solution Hey, Corey, back to you. Perfect. And now diving into it a little bit further. Could we go to the next slide, please? I think Perfect. You had it. There you go. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not, not, not super great with this presenting technology, okay. but it's all okay. good. Uh, we're on the next slide. And so looking at this desktop as a service solution, some of the key points that I really want people to remember as we go through the next slides is that LeoStream offers the utmost best when it comes to access and flexibility, simplified management, sort of a one pane of glass for all of your hybrid IT assets, security, and cost reduction. But what does that actually look like? Well, let's dive into the benefits of using the LeoStream platform and really take a look at these, these benefits each individually. So first and foremost is controlling costs. The LeoStream platform is great at controlling virtual, the cost of your virtual machines because of our power control and relief plans. We're able to power off virtual machines when there is, say, an excessive amount of idle time being detected by a LeoStream agent. And by powering off virtual machines, we can ensure that virtual machines are only ever being used when people are actively working on them. This is great also for MSPs and CSPs. Once a resource isn't being used, those resources, the CPUs, the uh, GPUs, if they're being virtually passed through, those resources then become available for another user. Similarly, in addition to controlling costs, the LeoStream platform helps ensure business continuity and resiliency by integrating with both cloud resources, so the virtual, the VMs on the Virtuoso OpenStack cloud, and any on-premise resources. We recognize that going to a remote first policy or hybrid network architecture takes time. And so 
the Leo stream platform is a great option for companies that are planning that migration because we continue to integrate with your on-prem resources so that you don't have a complete loss of, of uh, money in the investment of your hardware as you move to a cloud solution. The Leo stream platform also helps to increase productivity with uh hold on corey yeah let's get to that next year thank you you have one little move there yeah let's get the same going yeah, maybe, maybe andy can help you uh yeah, andy, can you help out? there it is perfect i'll, I'll, drive. I'll drive yeah good idea awesome. andy. andy yeah if you can help drive this i'm like i said earlier not too great with this go to webinar obviously so if you could just help drive when i say next if you could just hit go to the next part of the animation that would be great um, so as I was saying, we also help to increase productivity by allowing your users to work from anywhere at any time, especially as workforces become more disparate and spread across the globe. Uh, allowing your users to work from home, wherever that home might be, really helps to increase their overall productivity. Andy, do you want to go to the next bullet point here? And then also modernizing the workplace. Being able to hire, as I mentioned earlier, from anywhere in the world <laughs> definitely helps out companies in that, that might be having workforce shortages. For example, we have the media entertainment industry, which we've talked about a lot. Currently, there's a major shortage of VFX artists in for uh, media entertainment companies working on these big primetime television shows or big movies coming out. And so being able to hire from anywhere in the world really opens up the uh, overall talent pool and allows our, our media entertainment customers to choose uh, the best talent regardless of where that talent is located. And then lastly, scaling with ease. As LeoStream, as your desktop as a service solution grows, LeoStream grows with your business. So all of the components, and we'll dive into the components later in the slide deck, all of our components that help you scale, LeoStream gateways, clustered connection brokers, all of those different applications come free with every purchase of LeoStream licenses. So there's no hidden additional cost associated with the LeoStream platform. Andy, next slide. Perfect. And Let's just go real, ahead. Real quick, Corey, real quick. That licensing, by the way, if you're an existing virtuoso partner, contact your sales rep because you can sign up today and leverage your virtuoso agreement to be able to buy, buy and, and get your, your LeoStream licensing. If, if you're a new partner considering, we can bundle this all together with the entire Virtuoso stack. So it's super simple. Sorry, Corey. Yeah, yeah no worries. Yeah. Let's, let's pull down all of these bullet points right now, Andy, just to make it very easy to go through. So those were our benefits. Now, when we're comparing this desktop as a service solution with others out there on the market, we need to also consider our key differentiators. These are what separate us from other products on the market like Teradici's Cloud Access Manager, for example. One of the key things that we bring to the table that a lot of these other companies don't is that we're vendor neutral. Yes, we do work with Virtuoso and we're selling this as a Virtuoso and LeoStream desktop as a service solution. However, if you're familiar with selling DAS solutions, you'll know that there are oftentimes other pieces that go into building out the overall solution and we allow you to choose, mix, and migrate between those solutions as you or your customers see fit. For example, we're not forcing you to use a certain profile management solution. If you like using Liquidware or if your customer uses FS Logics, you can continue to use those, app those uh, profile management applications with the LeoStream and Virtuoso solution. We're also self-hosted, which means that you have full control over your data and resources. This is critical when you talk about security because unlike other desktop as a service solutions, there's nothing, there's no part of the solution that phones home to either a LeoStream or Virtuoso hosted cloud. This is all, the, the entire solution is going to be hosted in your own data center, giving you full control over all of the resources and any confidential information that might be included. Going further down the line, we have we, the LeoStream pro, uh, solution provides a centralized management layer and what we like to call a single pane of glass to manage all of your hybrid IT assets. 
this goes back to being vendor neutral in that we're able to connect to every single one of the hybrid IT assets being used at your company, gives you one single place to go to to manage the connections to all of those different assets. And then the LeadStream platform, and this is what really helps sell the LeadStream platform when it comes to security, but also ease of use and flexibility, is that we have the most, gr the, the most granular level of access control uh, in that we're able to automate access to virtual machines based on a wide variety of factors, including but definitely not limited to security groups, location, and or time of day. Time of day is a big one recently in the higher education industry in which we've been able to create scheduling rules so that students can only access virtual machines during, say, certain periods of the day in which those classes are actually in session. And the scheduling feature can be used for a wide variety of different use cases. Pretty much, if you can imagine it, the, the LeoStream platform can do it. And then lastly, the LeoStream team, and as well as the Virtuoso team, is highly responsive and uh, are we're willing to support you as you build out this desktop as a service solution in a wide variety of industries and try new and unique use cases that maybe we haven't even seen before in the field uh, as well. And so we're very excited to work with you and really take every uh, MSP or CSP that signs up to use the Leadership and Virtuoso solution as a real partner that we're looking forward to working with. Next slide, Andy. So let's dive in to the four main components of the LeoStream platform. And I promise you guys, this is the most technical that I'm gonna be getting throughout this whole entire presentation. So first off, Andy, if you wanna highlight the LeoStream Connection Broker, the LeoStream Connection Broker is going to be the brains of the operation. If you're the system administrator at your company, this is where you're going to be spending all of your time. This is where you set up the rules and create the power control plans for power, powering off virtual machines or releasing virtual machines back to the pool. This is also where you set up any authentication that you want to use. Do you want to use multi-factor authentication with say SAML and Azure AD? That's the Livestream Connection Broker is the location that you'd actually set up all those rules. Now, if we move on to the LeoStream Gateway, the LeoStream Gateway really is a dumb application, but it allows remote access and works with the LeoStream Connection Broker to facilitate connections to your desktops. Now, looking at the desktops themselves, each desktop has a LeoStream agent. And if we go to the next slide, perfect. The agents are important because they are what it, are actively uh, auditing and logging user actions and also the power state of virtual machines and reporting that information back to the LeoStream Connection Broker. This is how we know that if a user hasn't touched their keyboard or their mouse or changed any pixels on their screen, we can detect that they've been idle and therefore uh, have idle time monitoring triggers that will say maybe release a machine back to a pool power off a machine, or sometimes even tear it down or restart the machine. And so the LeoStream can, and then, then the last component that we have here is LeoStream Connect. LeoStream Connect is a great application for thin clients in that it allows the uh, user of the thin client to connect to the overall LeoStream platform. There's also a user web UI, and this can be used for any device. And so those are the four key platforms that, key components of the LeoStream platform. Uh, if you're interested in using the LeoStream platform, I'm sure that we'll dive into this uh, much more. Uh, additionally, you know, this all sits behind a firewall. And if you have a large deployment, both the LeoStream gateways and the LeoStream connection broker can be load balanced for high availability. Now, finally, we have to dive into some fun case studies. Bob, did you want to mention something there yeah, as well? Go back. go back one for me, Andy. I just want to point out that once you know, and, and Corey referenced that, you know, the administrator would spend a lot of time here. Yes, they will in the initial setup. But once this is set up, um, it pretty much runs on its own. Um, and you can go in and make changes, new users can, can come in. But once you have the design and the workflow set up, it's it, it runs. 
in, as an example, we've had customers that employees have changed. The administrator left and a new administrator would come in and um, it would be running on its own and would get a call three months later saying, hey, how do we work this? I've never even seen the machine. So <laughs> the point is, once it's set, this will run um, This will run on its own unless you want to make changes. But, yeah, go ahead, Corey. Exactly, yeah, Bob, that's a, that's a really good point. Um, actually, I think it's even happened here at Framestore. Uh, but let's go back to when Framestore was first looking at the latest streaming platform. Uh, this was in the beginning of the pandemic, and they were coming to us with an interesting scenario. They needed to simplify administration, consolidate, resource, consolidate resources, and ensure high performance remote access without rolling out their own solution. Oh, and by the way, they need to support 2,500 animation and visual effects artists spread throughout the globe. Well, the Leo's, with, with the LeoStream platform, they were able to enforce multi-factor authentication and connect users with gateways located in the offices spread around the world to provide low latency, high performance remote access. And they were able to do this for all of their machines, regardless of the operating system, regardless of whether they were physical, uh, regardless of the operating system, whether they're Macs, Linux, or uh, Windows workstations. And by leveraging MFA with LeoStream, they were also able to ensure that they were uh, accessing their machines in the most secure way possible, and therefore locking down all the confidential work that they were using throughout the day. Uh, and one of the things that they came back and said to us is that the flexibility that LeoStream offers doesn't compare to anything. I think what Andrea was mentioning when she said that quote is that there's simply no other solution currently out on the market today that offers the variety of control so that you can leverage all of your IT assets from one single place. They had never come stumbled across a solution that can manage the Linux, the Mac, and the Windows workstations all from the same UI, and then also manage the multi-factor authentication that they set up and the gateways that they set up in uh, in specific locations around the world. And so that's what Andrea was really pointing to. But let's let's uh, look at a more simple use case. So with the previous use case, they were using PC over IP and and other really high performance display protocols in order to connect to their workstations. Now with Auburn University, they had to deploy almost a different solution than what uh, Framestore was deploying because Auburn University was trying to connect their students to the resources and hosted resources on campus during the pandemic. And I don't know if you've ever worked with students before or if you've ever been a system administrator for students, they can be kind of dumb. And what you really need to do, and trust me, I can say that I was a student not too long ago myself, all right? they can be kind of dumb. And so what you really need to do for students is you need to create a very simple solution that's almost foolproof. Now, the problem that Auburn University was facing is that they didn't want to give VPN login information to every single one of their students and changing access of that VPN every single semester. They also didn't want to deploy any of the costly display protocols like Framestore was using. And then lastly, of course, they wanted to ensure that all the students had a very easy way to access the resources that they couldn't access while being at home. And so we came to, to Auburn University with an equally simple solution. We offered that, we suggested that they use the HTML5 RDP viewer that's built into the LeoStream platform to connect their students to their resources. And this is great because right after hitting connect on a resource, uh, after logging into the LeoStream platform and, con and hitting connect on a resource, the HTML5 RDP viewer instantly launched the workstation that the students were trying to connect to. And so there, this, this solution didn't involve any downloading of files or anything that could go wrong. Uh, it was very simple, easy access. The students would log on to the Auburn University branded LeoStream login page, 
click connect and instantly get their resource. We also were able to integrate with the university's active directory so that we were able to easily onboard new students as semesters rolled through. And then lastly, the pools and policies that we had for dynamic desktop assignments really helped as there was a wide variety of different classrooms and classes that students were taking that they had to connect to machines in order to, con to complete their coursework. And so being able to have pools for each different class and then policies to dy dynamically assign students with certain attributes to the correct pool really helped Auburn University scale up the solution and use it easily throughout a course of multiple semesters. And something we've noticed that really hasn't come across that much um, is that even in the higher education industry today, even as students return to campus, we are still seeing a demand across the education industry for remote access to student resources. It seems that within this industry in particular, students got really used to accessing their resources remotely and don't really want to go into the computer labs again, even though the pandemic has ended. And so yeah. we're continuing to see massive growth in, growth in the education industry. And with the LeoStream solution, you can still deploy very basic use cases with, with things like our built-in HTML5 RDP viewer. Now, David, do awesome. you want to take it away and show them how a service provider uses this in real life? Yeah, thanks, Corey. That that was awesome. Uh, so we've got about 15, 16 minutes left here. Uh, we're going to show you uh, one more thing and feature a partner, and then we'll open it up for QA. And, and don't forget about that promotion that Andy's going to share. But that was awesome, Corey. So we are so excited. Remember that 100 user opportunity where I showed where you could go to market with Virtuoso and LeoStream? And by the way, LeoStream's open stack connector and platform it's been fully integrated i know we've mentioned it but with virtuoso right i mean it is just an awesome solution well that 100 user example was delivered by t-line and we've actually got the ceo of t-line with us today t-line being a global cloud services and digital solutions broker primarily focused in south latin uh and, and north america They've standardized on Virtuoso's OpenStack with LeoStream for their desktop as a service. And it's their bundles that used the, the price and the margin example, but we thought we would actually turn it over to Carlos Pino, T-Line CEO, to show you how simple your customers can consume LeoStream on Virtuoso. Carlos, want to show us for a Yes, thank minutes? you very much, very much, David. Um, Thank you, everybody, for this for this time. Um, I'm going to show you my screen. I don't know if you um, am I visible. Yep, not yet. Oh, it's coming. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you tell me when I'm visible. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Live. I'm live. Okay. And a little bit of. Uh, uh, of uh, introduction, we were an infrastructure company. We put um, all of our time and effort for years and years, over 20 years in infrastructure, selling basically uh, data centers. And a few years ago, we decided to go into the pure service uh, provider. We created a platform. It's basically a cloud delivery platform. It's 100% um, uh, API driven. And uh, in the background, behind the scenes, is everything is virtuoso. We are a virtuoso um convinced truly convinced partner and one we got we're connected to seven products one of our products is our own cloud of course virtuoso technology and we have different offerings a reservation mode for infrastructure pay as you go a virtual machines and we have a, a vdi offering our vdi offering is, is really simple we try to simplify our offering our vdi offering is um is based on on linear stream i'm going to change into english i'm sorry yeah, and, and by, by the way, those sizes are the exact sizes we used in the 100 user example with the large. Yeah, we can have different courses in our platform and different sizes. From here, you select the size and, and you select even the zone. We have different data centers in the region. You select the zone, you select the size, you select the size, and that's it. You can go and 
put it in your in your shopping cart or you just come by now if you're in, in here you cannot have uh, have one machine one vdi or several um and that's it you go through the checkout process we try to make it really simple i'm gonna log, log on with my account and that's it it's going to confirm this is me and this is me uh it's only one unit and it's going to ask me to pay paypal credit card or transfer i'm going to select transfer because i have an open credit with my platform i got 30 days to pay because they trust me carlos uh, that's the first time i've seen that that is very slick very nice yeah tremendous. It, we, we try to make it easy for for our customers this is uh, for end user or corporate customers small business uh, customers they can actually provision instantly from one desktop to a thousand desktops and that's it this is yeah. my sales order and if i go to my email with a little luck i'm going to have my first email saying this is your sales order which is exactly what you have here and it, within a few seconds i suppose to receive my a uh, provision uh, virtual machine. Let's wait about 10, 15 seconds. Tremendous. And you know, this yeah. significantly reduces the time to revenue. Um, yeah. The new service providers out there. Yeah, as, as, as you can see, the, it takes seconds to provision a, a desktop. Yeah. And then that'll take you to the login. That's it. I received just the email with my non replay. This is my my welcome to my credentials, and my credentials is showing me only my my username and my password only in my email. We have a, a double key authentication if we can activate it. And from here, you just launch your VDI. It's gonna ask me my user. I just I receive through my email and my password that I just use my email, uh, and that's it. Uh, you go, you, I sign in to my, in my desktop. No, one second. <laughs> Always <I'm> happens. <laughs> yeah, right, I got it. Uh, that's it. It's logging in and uh, we are just launching. This is a, a daily stream broker. Uh, I'm missing an S, I'm sorry. This is a, <laughs> Yeah, we're live. We're live. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Live okay. demos. It's okay, Carlos. <laughs> right there. Uh, Hi. Uh, it's just giving me this. <laughs> this this was just was just provision, and it's giving me my Windows 10 basically. And through the RDP, I am supposed to be connected to with my credentials. Perfect. Yeah, That's it. This is my. Yeah, yeah. This is That's my awesome. my. my my window stand. That's awesome, and, that, and, that, and that's it. Thank you for that. And and Andy, thank, if, thank if we go back uh, to the slide, so when we talk about simplicity, th this is, is is what we mean. Uh, I mean that was just awesome, Carlos. Uh, you know, to be able to see the cloud maturity and how your team has added the stream. But this is the virtuoso cloud platform. Okay. Whether you're, you're, whether you're a CSP who aspires to build this out on your own infrastructure or an HSP or an MSP who doesn't want to own, manage, or operate your own infrastructure, but wants to be able to go to market with a similar mature solution as you're seeing today, we've got the solutions along with our channel partners. And the last thing that we wanted to share with you before the promotion and uh, Q&A is an early release at another product that we're going to be launching, uh, which is the ability to launch your own cloud, simple, fast, and affordable, and affordable, and to be able to have your own branded experience equal to what Carlos just showed you that he's built with T-Line. So uh, ask about this if you're interested but to be able to have your own branded marketplace, to be able to operate, operationalize cloud in your vendors to your customers and to help most of all, get your Virtuoso and Leo Steam productization to market so your consumers can start consuming from you within minutes. Thanks, Andy. And it's animated. <laughs> Yeah.
All right, so we could go to the next one. Yeah. Okay, so what have we got here? So everybody, um, uh, we have available free trials of our Leo Stream Virtuoso DAS solution. Um, all you need to do is to email das at virtuoso.com and um, we'll send you a, a qualification form uh, to uh, fill out a bit of detail about the project, your environment, uh, and obviously organization details, and then we'll respond to you uh, very quickly. Uh, yeah, and, and, and Andy, uh, again, we know we've got a wide variety of partners and customers on. So that yeah. qualification form will allow you to help us understand your line of business and your type. Again, do you want to become a major anchor CSP partner with Virtuoso to build this out within your region across the world to be able to go to market to support MSP, small, medium, large enterprise, or or you an MSP or an enterprise who wants your own trial to be able to consume. So uh, we'll, we'll work with you on whatever your situation is. Indeed, indeed. Right, so let's have a Q&A. Now we've got some uh, questions that have come through already. Um, so let me shout one out. The first one I've got is, um, I think, uh, the Leo Stream team here. Do you support GPU assignments or uh, otherwise known as pass through? So GPU assignments or pass through. Uh, Corey, is that you? So, yeah, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take that, Corey. So the GPU pass through is something that's done outside of the Leo Stream. Once the once the machine is provisioned with the GPU pass through, Leo Stream makes the connection. So yes, we do support that. Excellent. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah. Carlos, you were saying that you've been. Uh, yeah, Yes, I just want to add in one of our data centers, and um, we actually uh, install several NVIDIA cards in, in, in a couple of the servers and a couple of the nodes. And yes, we're doing actually a, a GPU pass through to some desktops for workstations or for hard loads. Yeah, and it works. And that, that's leveraging the latest version of Virtuoso hybrid infrastructure yeah, to it, also. It, it, I, it's VHI 5.0 Virtuoso, VHI 5.0 allows a, a pass through PCI, pass through GPU. GPU pass through, and it, it does work uh, flawlessly. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, we have somebody here asked, will, will they get a copy of the presentation? Yeah, the um, a, a video of the presentation will be available and will be, a link will be sent to all, all attendees. Um, so- And there'll be the, playback, right? And, there'll and be playback. Indeed. For those. indeed. Yeah, yeah, you can see the rerun. Um, what authentication methods are supported with LeoStream? Who's going to take that one? I can take that one. So that's a pretty easy uh, question. Um, so the Leo Stream platform integrates with Simul, Duo, and Radius. So pretty much any of uh, the enterprise authentication methods are supported, whether that be Azure AD or Okta. Uh, whatever your MFA or authentication requirements are, the Leo Stream platform will be able to help. Yeah, and that, and that includes local AD. It, it even includes NIST. I think we still have support for NIST, which, well, you know, that kind of tells you how old we are as a company. But yeah, <laughs> authentication is not an issue with our product. It's very flexible. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Is there a limit to how many display protocols I can use with uh, the Leo Stream platform? So there isn't actually. You can use pretty much any display protocol or any combination of display protocols. So say, for example, you have a, a variety of task workers, knowledge workers, and high performance specialized workers. Well, they're going to have a wide variety of different needs. For example, you could use RDP or the built-in HTML5 RDP viewer for your task workers that are simply trying to accomplish simple uh, Microsoft Word-based tasks for the business. But then for the specialized workers, let's say editors or engineers that need higher performance for the applications that they're trying to run, you could run a high performance display protocol like Mechdyne TGX or PC over IP uh, to facilitate the traffic for those users. And so that helps as well because then you can then you're only paying the 
a high premium for the the high performance display protocols for the users that actually require the high performance for users that don't require as much high as as much high performance you can use rdp you can even use vnc or a display protocol like no machine nx excellent um i need to rattle through quickly how can we control access at certain times of the day a short so you, snappy answer would be a good one yeah so you can control access at certain times of the day using scheduling which is a built-in feature excellent uh does power control work for both virtual and physical machines yeah so we have wake on LAN, which enables us to use power control on physical machines in addition to virtual machines splendid how can i scale the lea stream platform for 1000 users across multiple offices located around the world yeah bob do you want to take that one yeah sure so so the product is highly scalable it's designed and built for scalability you can load balance brokers you can load balance gateways um, but the, it's uh, the interesting piece with our solution versus some of the others out there is that a single pane of glass will connect. It's, it's truly multi-regional support. Excellent. Excellent. Fantastic. And uh, are there any, any ways that Learstream platform can help increase the performance of our machines? Bob, you want to take that one as well? Yeah, sure. So, so performance enhancements, so we, we saw this, um, you know, during the last four or five years, is people connecting in through VPNs, um, we've had a lot of experience with it. VPNs were not purpose-built for remote access, right? That's not, they're expensive, they're cumbersome to manage. So with our gateway, performance increases um, for many of the high performance display protocols simply going through our gateway versus a VPN. So there is some performance enhancements when you use our gateway versus a VPN. Excellent, that's great. Can, can, I, can I make yeah. one addition? Yeah, so sure. you're, since, since you're running in the data center, um, our, our customers are experiencing way faster internet connections because it is a core uh, driven internet in the data center, mm. that, that uh, remote office. Very good point, Nicola. Awesome. And, and as we wrap up uh, here, uh, Carlos, is there anything else that hasn't been asked or, or, or that you'd yes. like to share? Yes, uh, several, several customers of ours uh, ask us for the USB driver red, red rect, and it does work. It does uh, flawlessly. You can plug any um, external camera, camera or a barcode reader to their local device, and it will actually send that, that control to the virtual machine. Oh, cool. Very nice, very nice. Awesome. Listen, um, I want to thank uh, everybody who's attended today and um, uh, really appreciate you taking the time out. I'd like to thank our friends at LeoStream, um, at Colos at, um, at T-Line, uh, who, as you can see, he's using the technology and, and um, he's a prime example of, of you know, how you can become successful as well. Um, we've got the, the new, virtual platform coming out for um, creating your own environments and you can have a, literally have a, a, a online presence up and running exceedingly quickly. We'll reach out to you guys separately on that one. But um, yeah, big, and big Andy, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to ask you to go back to this slide again, dash at virtuoso.com. I know we've got different time zones across the world, but we've got people available now. If you email us and you want to talk today, later this week, yeah. we're available thanks andy exactly. exactly so we bid you a fond farewell and um thanks very much reach out to us don't be shy and uh we'll see you soon thanks guys. Everybody. thank you thank you bye-bye bye-bye all right bye. thank you guys